I don't mind stealing bread from the mouth of decadence. I can't feed on the powerless My cup's already overfilled But it's on the table The fire is cooking Don't judge me. I needed the wheat to make more pink slime for what we're going to do in today's episode. We're going to work on getting ether gas and we need pink slime to make the stasis chamber and a fluid laser base. If you're just stopping through trying to figure out how to get ether gas, you need some things first. You need plastic and you need pink slime. In episode 22 of this series, I cover plastic and how to get it. In episode 23, I show you how to get pink slime. To get the ether gas, we need to milk a wither. We're going to do that right up here on top of the mob farm. But we need parts and pieces in order to do this. Specifically, we need a stasis chamber. What this does is it'll lock the wither in place. So when we build a wither, he can't move from the place that we want him to stay. Then we need a fluid laser base. Just one of these. And you also need at least one laser drill. I'm going to use 12 of these. And the one last item that we need in order for the fluid laser base to work properly is we need to make a purple lens. And you do that with latex in a dissolution chamber, four glass panes, and a purple dye give you a purple lens. If you're building this near your base, you want to use something that's witherproof. I'm using tinted glass, so if a wither shoots this, it will not break. We don't want things to go awry and him to cause havoc and blow up my nuclear power plant. So we want to keep the wither in this chamber. The wither is three blocks wide and three blocks tall. So at the bottom here, I'm going to put down a stasis chamber on top of this quantum entangled porter that's powering it and if you notice on the top right you see the ball and chain I'm pushing W right now and I can't move so I can get away from it because I'm me but the wither won't be able to move here now the other thing that you want to make sure of is that whatever you're powering that stasis chamber with that it doesn't run out of power because once it runs out of power the wither can then just leave there let me turn this off for now. We can work in here. Now, the weather's three blocks tall. So in the center above the stasis chamber, we're going to put down fluid laser base. You want to make sure that your laser base is placed like this so that the red is facing towards the bottom where the wither is going to be. And then these circles are facing towards the outside. Put some blocks around the base. Then take the laser drills and pop them on just like so. Now when I break these blocks, you'll notice that the laser drills are now feeding this fluid laser base. Only thing that needs power are these laser drills. So let me run power to them. Then we'll spawn this wither. We got to remember to turn the stasis chamber back on so he can't jet on us and we should be good to go. For power, we're going to use another quantum entangle porter, link it to our network, turn all these things off. Now you can make something that makes this simpler, but sometimes I just like doing things hard. Turn that eject on for power, heat off. Now we just got to run power cable to the laser drills. Every single 
one of the laser drills. Box this in. Best as possible. <laughs> And I think we kind of lost my design that I was going for. I wanted it to look like a lamppost up here. But sometimes things need power too. I'm going to use a couple dimensional tanks to store ether gas in. One here and then one where I'm going to use it. Craft them up. We need some fluid pipes. And some soul sand. Three wither skulls. Fluid that we're going to get is going to go into this fluid laser base. So we're going to pull right off of that and put it into one of the dimensional tanks that we just made. Call this one six. Pull that. All right, the last thing we got to do is pop this purple laser lens into the fluid laser base. Now, when this runs, we'll get ether gas here once we make this wither. And turn on this stasis chamber. Redstone mode ignored. Need soul sand. What else do we need down here for the quick exit? One piece, two piece. like that and then definitely not glass that you put on there I'm pretty sure now just the three weather skulls and get out of here block this in with some more glass he's gonna do his thing and blow up hopefully not kill everything does he not even blow up now I don't even think he blows up now. He looks like he's just stuck and we're juicing him. Not getting any fluid yet. Let's go. I guess it's getting late for me because I'm standing here staring at this laser fluid base wondering why this isn't working. And guess what? It's all going into the dimensional tank that I put above. Sometimes you're just not as sharp as you think you are. Folks, I think that's where I'm going to wrap up the episode. Keep it short, sweet, simple. In case you're wondering how to get ether gaze, it's pretty simple once you know how. Thanks for watching the episode, y'all. Have fun and peace.